Hi there, this is an update on the generator. I've had a, a uh, shaft machined, so I've got that all done. I've attached a little testing motor so I can spin it and play with the power making in, in safety, or relatively safe. That is just off an old drill press. It's got a, um, that pulley's from a um, alternator, car alternator. I've got it pretty lined, it doesn't come off or anything. I can, if I want to change ratios, since that's off a drill press, it's got one, two, three, four different speeds. I can sort of move my plate around. And it's unbalanced at the moment, so I can start, what I'm going to do is balance it. It's a bit unsafe in its unbalanced form, so I'll fire it up. Takes a bit of a um, push, the poor little thing. Might not be totally aligned, but it will shake this whole room. My little um, tabletop here almost falls off. So, I'm over near the power point and I'm not in any way of any parts flying off. I've ran it a few times, it's not too bad. I even did a load test with it on, but it's totally unbalanced. Most of it's coming from this plate here with the magnets. As you can see, it's um, starting to rock around. It actually rocks around a bit worse than that. getting up the speed. This little fan gives out some wind blowing that rag. Alright, doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment. I think it's still getting speed. Must have um, set them up a bit better. See the table slightly moving, but not like it was the other day. I think I can get most of that unweighted balance out with some counterweights. Well that's the plan. Alright, I'll be back. Last time I tried it, it was these magnets here. That was the right weight for it. I haven't weighed it yet. It's got a hard drive magnet in there. A couple of them, actually, three. able to see how wobbly this one's not too bad it's that one there which has a about two to three mil out on one side all right i'll get back okay i've taken the um fan belt off and um trying to find the balancing point and somewhere around about here it starts dropping to the left Doesn't do anything there or there. Slightly there. More so here. So somewhere down here is a heavy spot. We'll have to counterweight a weight from somewhere around here, perhaps. Weight needs to be. So, using the magnets, I'll start with three neon magnets. I'll stick them there. So, 
right, somewhere here. So we need a bit more weight there. Watch out, they're quite strong. They're doubling up because of the other magnets behind them. Don't like playing with magnets. Haven't done it before and they're very annoying. Spanners and everything just fling up. We could be at the right weight there, sort of, within degree. The bearings are still a bit tight, so it doesn't swing so good, but it does swing enough. So theoretically, you should be able to place this wheel anywhere along there now, and it shouldn't really rock. But um, I'm still unsure of what I'm going to use as the weight itself. I can't test it with that, they fly off, so I'm not gonna do that again in here. And theoretically, I think if we had a bit better bearing, we'd be able to tell. But it's pretty close to balanced, maybe. Not that I have balanced anything much. I've tried this once before, and it seemed to work until the uh, weight fell off. But that looks pretty good. That should take out most of the vibration, maybe. So I'll weigh that up, uh, try to find a way to attach something there. I might just weld a bit of plate on there at that weight, and then I'll have to calculate the weld, I guess, or it might be out, but it might not matter. All right, I'll get back. So the weight was 55.4 grams, and I found some lead. And it's 55.5, so we're just a point over, that should be right, probably positioning, I think. That oh, was over here somewhere, so if we have it out here, I might glue it in. I'll tape it there first and see what happens, and I'll get back. Okay, I've uh, super glued 55 grams of lead to that point there. Hopefully it holds for the test. I'll um, screw it maybe, or aerodite it, so we can get it off. Because uh, every time you pull this apart, you'll have to rebalance it. And I'm pretty sure I've got the balance not too bad. But I'll have to let the grease wear in a bit to free up this a bit. But it seems to, wherever you sit it, it will stay. Rocked a little bit then, so maybe it's still underweight. Alright, here goes the test. I'm not going to stand near that thing. And I'll be over here now. Oh, hang on. Needs a uh, fan belt. I'll be back. Okay, take two. We have a fan belt connected. And here we go. It's a bit of force needed to start that little breeze. So we'll be able to tell soon if it's sort of a bit better balanced. Still wobbling around a bit. Mm, somewhat not too bad. Probably could do with a bit more weight somewhere, but I'll have to um, take it outside and give it a run, heat that grease up in the bearings. Definitely not bouncing around as much as it was. Well, not too bad for the first attempt. Yeah, that's an 
<laughs> so it's not jumping around as much now. It was starting to move before. Well, that seems to work. I'll um, aerodite it up now, so it's a bit more secure than super glue. I just folded up 55 grams of lead and banged it together into a little cube. Oh, it won't move now because it's got the pulley on it. Uh, fan belt. But that's it there. Bang together. All right, I'll um, glue it up and see how it goes tomorrow in our test or someday. All right, thanks for watching.